Well, tonight, some dramatic new body cam video of the Baltimore police officer shot in the line of duty that happened as two officers approached a suspect in Cherry Hill, ending with the officer shot in the hand. WJZ is live at City Police Headquarters. George Solis with the video. George. Good evening, Mary. Now, we want to warn viewers that some of the video you are about to see may be graphic. It shows us two officers struggle with a suspect they believed and found out was armed. And as you mentioned, one of those officers getting shot in the hand. Show me your hand. Baltimore City Police warm body cameras hand. capturing what led up to a Show struggle with hand. a suspect they say showed signs of being armed in South Baltimore. You got a gun on you, man? No. Don't, don't reach oh, your Reach for anything. An eerily similar situation, police say murder detective Sean Souter responded to before being fatally shot in the head in West Baltimore. Souter's funeral occurring just hours before this incident, as officers grapple with the gunman identified as 35 year old Alan Johnson, comes a heart stopping sound. Instantly, the emergency calls begin to flood the airwaves. My office been shot the head. During that altercation, which again was captured on police worn body cameras, you could hear as the officers scream out that a gun had gone under the fence here at the Friendship Academy at Cherry Hill. Get the gun, get the gun. This is the gun police say they recovered. Police Commissioner Kevin Davis. It's a violent struggle, and thank God we're not uh, talking about planning another police funeral. Police say the officer, a three year veteran of the force, was taken to shock trauma but has since been released. I applaud the police officers last night for their bravery, for their courage. Now, police say Johnson is a known convicted felon who should have never been out on Baltimore City streets with a gun. Live outside Baltimore City Police Headquarters, George Solis reporting for WJZ. George, thank you. And Johnson faces a number of charges tonight.